not with you. Uh, you're the last one, so it's easy. I don't have to forget. Uh, one suggestion, one question. I'll start with the suggestion, which is the easiest one. Uh, you saw like a, the supposedly connectivity diagram, uh, which was an axial model of all the rooms. I would advise to go with um, with uh, matching rooms and connectivity as a convex space. Now, don't use an axial model that wasn't supposed to be supposed within quotes to be used in a building in, that, in such a way. You'll probably get the same result, but there are tricky situations where it looks also looks a bit uh, odd. Um, but again, it's a tool. You can do whatever you want. Going back to what I said, I mean, it's just a tool you can use as much as you want. Um, the agent-based modeling. Uh, so how are you planning to encode the stochastic approach of an agent? Because the, the agents, especially the agents uh, delivered in DevMap, which is the exosomatic visual agents, uh, are based on a stochastic model. Okay, there is a bit of, for the non-technical ones, there is a bit of randomness in how they work. So how are you planning to encode this kind of sto stochastic approach? So it's the simulation has some sort of stochastic thing. You know? yeah. Okay, so how are you going to encode your, you said your data set, your uh, students, sorry, the patients and other data in that model? What is? Um, I'm not very, I don't know, I'm not a person who is going to solve the technical part. So oh. that's uh, step one. How I want? It to be uh, to happen is um, I use the example of aging based modeling because it's, uh, I see it as movement gener generated movement. So that's the same. The the reason uh, the reasoning behind the generating that movement. So the uh, the, the chance the stochastic behind it um, should be based on uh, the on the mean and the deviation of patient flow, okay. for, for example. So, and that's uh, maybe better uh, when you uh, describe, when you uh, talk about design ghosts. That is, uh, when McKinney talks about design ghosts, then he's talking about a, vir a virtual user. And a virtual user moves to the design based on the description of tasks that user receives, and if we are if it's possible to describe these tasks based on a data set of patients, then you can take all the patients of last year and make them make them move through the building um, as they moved last year. Mm -hmm. so that's step one. Okay, I was going to get that's step one. Sense. So then you. Then you make you don't make it intelligent. You just say, okay, uh, this uh, this department move from here to here. So the patient must in the new design not move to over there, but must move over there, and afterwards to the department that he was originally also there. Okay. So that is how you can uh, how I see how you can simulate a change in the architecture layout. Uh, um, where did the architectural layout come from? Because you've got the patient data from last year. Yes. Right? So that these the, the, the data are based on the current design. Yes. So you train your agents to walk as if we had the current design, so to simulate the existing as you said. Yeah. And now you need do you need that to be able to test it in a different layout? If you so predict what will happen in a future hospital? Yeah, or even... That's not possible though. That's a that a no, but I'm talking about uh, related to the clinical process. So, okay. so uh, related to the... Ah, I see okay. the movement related to the clinical process. So the patient has to do certain tasks. He has ah. to do functional. Right? Yes. From the information time. desk to the radiology, to the specialist, to the nurse, Ah, which, that, which, yeah, uh, which uh, happens uh, for every for every uh, hot ever yes. a hospital. Yeah. But not for okay. every patient in the same following order. Mm -hmm. yes. So there, yes. there are changes there too. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, make those 
agents, those design codes, execute that task in a different design. You can take the, I think you, in the end you can take the movement of hospital A and project it in hospital B to see if the clinical processes, how they are organized in hospital A, also works in hospital B. Okay and the other way around. So then you are able to test if a certain idea a designer has, an architect say, okay, we built our hospital in different centers. Mm -hmm. uh, is that efficient? And you can test it by running the patient flow. The by simulating the patient thing, flow. The thing is, um, you, you First of all, I think you, you should not talk about the movement because what you are talking about is functional processes. You see, like for instance, a guy that comes to the hospital with a broken hand would always first be seen by this service and then by that service and then okay. Let's even there. There's a certain degree of uncertainty because it could be a totally broken hand or just. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it, it is a good idea to, and, but that is not movement, that, that, that is like a functional sequences that you can, uh, the way you can simplify. And what you then is do is run those functional sequences on different layouts. But you have one, one problem, which is there is uh, side which is invariable, you can assume that is invariable, which is what happens medically when someone with a broken hand goes to the hospital, and act actually eventually is impacted by the layout itself. So you have a set a, a number of confounded variables here. Mm -hmm. You need to filter this stuff. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not questioning no, that. No, 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 I'm, I'm no, just no, trying no, to no. run <laughs> But uh, yeah, actually, it's not movement. It's, it's, yeah. it's functional sequences, yeah. which should <coughs> most of the time be the same. Yeah. Yes. But also, in, uh, uh, I guess that that's what you see in that model of the hospital is that it's all data from the same hospital, the same year. And uh, patients that you are expecting expecting to have a same process yes. don't have. So Why? even what? Because people are not. Uh, there are lots of reasons, but the 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 processes are um, changing uh, because. Time today because that's the radiology department is not the one that's not the other one. So, um, well, that's your stochastic, let's say, approach, but then I think that is not stochastic. Okay. So not stack stochastic, but the randomness in the problem. There is a bit of a randomness because you need the random. yeah. some, some randomness. It won't be a perfect situation, simulation won't be perfect. Uh, but I, I'm not sure yet, maybe it's that my understanding, I, I, I've done, uh, I've even understood the, 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 what you're saying. I don't know how you can uh, translate the findings from one to the next one in terms of simulation, because, again, you're not really, and I'm going to borrow uh, Miguel's uh, thing, that you're not really using the space and the movement, it's just, it's a, it's a step-based process pretty much, it's like, uh, a to B to C, sometimes to B, sometimes back to A. So then you have to, the next design will have um, functions, but also associated space in there. So don't forget, if, like a bit of help now, like a feedback. Don't forget to see whether you need to also take the account of the, the normal space. Don't just take your data and the associated processes. Mm -hmm. Think about the space because the next layout is going to be space plus some functions plus the assembly of using yeah. this function. There's a lot of, of, of variance. Oh, variance, yes, mm -hmm. in the analysis. And in the training, if we go into the machine learning thing of, the, of your idea. Mm -hmm. Just a moment, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We have a question there. Uh, well, no, I 
another one there? Well, uh, um, I saw some examples already and read some examples of auto evaluation using space syntax related with public spaces and so on. And this case of the hospital, I think it's really interesting. And um, my, my it's not a question, I think, for, it's for, the, uh, for Joaquin. Uh, <laughs> it's not expecting, but it's a provocation because we are in a school, uh, a school of arts, uh, a school of arts that is changing its uh, layouts, is changing the spaces, the use of spaces, and um, and this method uh, to study the post occupation and the transformation of the use of the space, I think can be really interesting to. Um, um, to study here at school uh, because we are a particular school because we occupy different buildings and our campus is the city and uh, and so and we also interfere with the other six courses cinema theater fine arts and, and so on and, um, so it could be interesting and so subjects like the uh, movement, fluxes, integration, connectivity would be really interesting to study here in the school. So it's a provocation and a challenge for you that you are responsible for the spaces here in the school. Sorry. But to, if I may react to that, uh, last week I gave this presentation for our department and there's someone in our department who is doing the redesign of the campus of the NTU. So that, that, that. And he also said the same thing. <laughs> we need this way of thinking to redesign the campus. So it's not only about this way of thinking, it's not only about hospitals, it's not only about that uh, it's also about, can be also about the university campus. And for me, it's also fun to integrate. After, I, mean, I know it's not a little trouble because I took this way of thinking from a period I worked at landscape architecture. I learned it, I saw it there, I learned it there. Try to integrate it in hospital architecture, and I have a problem to explain it on a different level again. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I think there's a potential, big potential there if you, if you can make simulations of designs mm -hmm. using actual data. Mm -hmm. that's the, and how we solve it. And in the beginning, it will be very rough. You are anywhere, so you, you can. Uh, it's a, uh, what the Inselspital does is they took the data of one year and analyzed it and said, okay, if we are going to redesign the new hospital, these are the processes, how they are really are. So we redesign the hospital according to these processes, not for the processes how they are designed, but how patients have experienced them in the last year. My problem is then with that is that you assume that the, those processes are most efficient. But those processes are also influenced by the architectural layout mm -hmm. yes. they are generated in. Yeah. So it's not only in the new design, it's not only in the new design, but it's also in the old design. But we have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And if you are able to model both architectural layout and the clinical process, so if you can generate it, okay, these are the flows of patients, what are the mechanical processes you can generate from that? <coughs> move, change those processes as well. You can combine steps, you can separate steps, you can say, okay, if we do the planning like this, is it more efficient for those patients of last year? We will never know what it is for next year, that's true. Yeah, no, 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 no. But, but then, you, then you have some data to do simulations to give a plug to Miguel's uh, work and the work in general I know she does but uh, uh, a bit of mass, maybe a bit of machine learning and data analysis would be also another option smart grid because uh, of course you've got all the data and you could build relational models with the data 
And then probably you know from all the presentations today that you can build the relational models of space with graphs and stuff. And, and the same uses to describe similar graphs of phases going from A to B and never back. Might be a directional uh, directed graph or whatever. So maybe you want to see some approach like, uh, I don't know, not PCA or whatever, but some more data analysis, higher dimensional, flattened work, more simple. <laughs> yeah? Yes, please. Or something, yeah, machine learning, basically. I don't know, maybe we can comment uh, more. Well, but yes, when you have lots of data, you need to, 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 to do better analysis. You don't have that. Otherwise, you will be just drowning. So, but um, as it's so highly detailed, the kind of data that you have, I, th I thought the report was, that was amazing. It was um, uh, time sequences and time series with uh, real, but each, each patient uh, has done, and that, that is really good. What you could do, for instance, is outlier analysis on that, because there will be a general trend. And then there will be outliers. And what you want, and then and the, that general trend is the thing that you can put on the future thing. And the outliers are, then you need to identify them, why, why they are outliers, you see? There could be many reasons, but then you got a much more controlled model taking off the outliers. Or at least you know what you're doing. You see? Yeah. I, 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 could, I would like to just ask you, how did you sense it, the movement of those, uh, in that short video that you showed everybody coming in and coming out, that was sensitive how? Uh, the, um, the, the, the data, 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 no, the data, um, uh, the data is to patient face to patient records. So wow. okay. the, the patient it's has an appointment, so it isn't in the hospital, the patient has so it has to move to those. So it's not very useful. No, no, no. I think it, it was just no. yeah. it was a nice visualization of uh, in and out uh, yeah. data. Yeah. yeah, it's not the yeah. trace. Mm -hmm. No, uh, and that's the problem I have with their. Uh, it's not connected also to the actual bin. Mm -hmm. So I, I want to be able to model these flows within uh, within, within yeah. a model. That would be great. That. Uh, that represents the architectural layout so that, it, that, that, that these agents of this design process have to find a way in the hospital from one room to the other mm -hmm. executing that task. Yeah. But I think at the, in the end it should, it's possible if you get it in place to, for example, plan that patient that has, uh, based on this di the diagnosis, has a bigger uh, chance of more nurse care closer to the nurse center point. There are no patients that need less. So nurses know that they feel it. They know it, but they don't, can't see it from. They don't see what's happening. But patient planning does know that. So they, they can say, okay, this patient you should move not close to you because we know there's another patient that needs more attention that is coming within an hour. So. We have still four questions. We have another presentation further. So I think with these four questions, we can uh, end it. I will use the, I don't know which one was first. So I will use the criteria of proximity. I have to use it. far as the first. <laughs> and the first one is in here. Proximity. Uh, and I, I also, uh, if you all can make the questions, uh, Repeatedly, and then they will answer for it. Okay. First, Times a uh, bigger problem, uh, and uh, well, what we 
میرفتن آن یعنی ایلان دوباره در بود تو دوشتگی این ایلان دراما Uh, they do the same. They produce uh, several 
maybe perhaps ten, ten they analyze it uh, because there is no analytical way to it's impossible. There's no maths, analytical mass like that can uh, treat that uh, problem. It's well known in the well in the list uh, when you have a theory you say that if you make an action A and uh, over a situation S, you get a result uh, the theory Right there, not very difficult. Well, sometimes uh, we have a thousand years to, to get to theory, but uh, well, you are we are right there. But that, then we have the, the methodological one. That is another problem, the inverse problem of the theory, because you want some result, and uh, you don't uh, say I make the action A over situation S. You ask what is the action to make of a situation to get the best possible and that inversion of the theory, I could call methodology, is very, very hard in, uh, in mathematics. It's a, a problem that is, uh, well, in, uh, for example, one now is in the uh, uh, differential. Well, it's not possible to get some, mathemat some mathematicians 